afternoon, everyone. My name is AJ. I'm driving the 2019 BMW M4 CS. BMW Momentum gave me the keys to drive this vehicle around and kind of get my opinions on it. Now, those of you guys that know me know that I'm an enthusiast. I love old BMWs. I love new BMWs too, but I currently don't own anything newer than 2003. Driving the car around town, it feels like a, any other newer BMW. The CS model is a special edition of, this, of the M4 variant. Uh, it has about 28 horses, more than a standard model, 37 foot pound, more foot, to, foot of torque. Uh, and you definitely notice a difference. And there's a slew of carbon fiber bits, and we'll get into that later on. Um, uh, it has a zero to 60 time of 3.7 seconds. Media or the brochure itself. But today we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about how the car feels to drive with it on a daily basis. I can see myself driving this to work every single day. Uh, I've actually even fit my kids in the back and uh, um, you can actually use this vehicle. Uh, I currently daily drive an E46 M3 and this feels a lot like that. Uh, which brings me to my first point. This car is a track focused monster. Um, uh, it's docile, has a kind of a Jekyll and Hyde uh, attribute, if you would. Um, driving it around town, it looks a lot like a, a traditional M4, but the moment you get it on a straightaway, you really begin to understand what it's all about. Switching from uh, the Comfort to Sport to Sport Plus is uh, seamless. Uh, button here on the center console allows you to uh, change the attributes uh, based on the driving conditions. If you don't want it to be too jarring because you're in the city and the roads aren't great, just switch it down to comfort. If you're on a more spirited back road, but they're not the best road, you go to sport mode. If you're on a track or you want a track inspired feel, you go to sport plus, which is generally where I keep it. If it's just me in the car, of course. One of my favorite features on this car has to be the active exhaust. Um, this car has its fair share of pops and gurgles, but uh, that gets tremendously uh, amplified once you start going into the Sport and Sport Plus pregnant regions. In the economy mode, you really don't hear the exhaust too much, and it's probably for the best because uh, you probably would have neighbors that really wouldn't love you too much if you start your vehicle with it, with the, uh, the exhaust on, on full blast and um, you become that guy in your neighborhood. That sounds good. But I will say, I probably just keep it on all the time. So that right there, the rev match, uh, the blip, as some people call it, it puts you right in that, that gear range, that RPM range that you want to be uh, just eat, just edging you to hit the gas, just edging you to push it a little bit harder. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this this car is very difficult not to drive hard. So, back to the car. What makes this car any any different, any more different than the standard M4? Why should you spend the extra thirty thousand dollars? Well, for starters, this is a limited run edition. The special edition M4 CS is only going to be made into five hundred units. One thing, one feature that's pretty interesting and cool, might I might say, because you see this a lot in the aftermarket. You see a lot of it with with enthusiasts. Is this car has it has it has a staggered wheel setup, but not in the way that you normally think. It has a staggered wheel setup that has bigger rims in the back, 20s in the back, and 19s up front. Now that helps a lot with the overall stance of the vehicle, and I'm sure that uh, that's definitely created a a difference in. Uh, costs whenever it comes time to change tires. You can't rotate these tires. and uh, But uh, for a vehicle like this, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, running the Michelin Pilot Super Sports, you're pretty much paying the premium anyway. Why not uh, throw the best tire you can at it? And rotating is not even an option and never was for you anyway. So let's talk about my favorite attribute of this car. It has to be all the carbon fiber attributes that they incorporated. Uh, for, from the from the front bumper, the uh, the lower valence, the ground effect is carbon fiber there. The carbon fiber hood, uh, the inside, the carbon fiber reinforcement on the hood underneath has a weave the size uh, that would even make a, a picnic basket jealous. Uh, why they do that? Why they make the weave that way? I don't know, but it's definitely something nice to look at and I personally appreciate it. Move on to the top of the vehicle. The roof 
you'll notice that it's not equipped with a sunroof. Now for enthusiasts, we call that a slick top and uh, ideally that's what you'd want for a track focused vehicle. All right, we got a nice stretch of road here. No cars around and just see what she's got. The words that come to mind don't really describe how it feels driving this car. It, uh, I would definitely call it a familiar feeling. You know, I drive an E46 M3 as a daily driver and some would call that car twitchy. Uh, that's not the word I would use to describe this car. I would definitely say it's uh, very reactive. Uh, it's responsive. Um, the steering wheel is light. Um, it's not very weighted artificially. So what I say that the extra $30,000 price tag that this holds over the standard M4 model is worth it? I'd like to think so. Absolutely. Now, the unfortunate thing about the CS model is that it's kind of flown under the radar. Up until a few weeks ago, I had no idea what the CS M4 was. Much like the 1M, its predecessor, when it first came out, the 1M wasn't very light. People really didn't like the proportions of the vehicle. Now, of course, this was at the heyday, the beginning of the modern M3s going away from the naturally aspired vehicles into the twin turbo variants. And this car has a three liter inline six cylinder turbo. That car, much like this car, comes in its own special uh, variation of colors. And this one in particular being black sapphire metallic, which happens to be my personal favorite. It's also available in a few other colors, but only those just. Uh, the classic Alpine white, the lime rock gray, and a frozen dark metallic blue. All right, boys and girls, so that's gonna wrap it up for my 24 hours with the M4CS model. As you can see, we had a great time shooting it, and I had a great time driving it. Take care.